All right, y'all's queen chain link back on here. Now, I'm trying to zero in on that 301. Don't worry about that 8037 up there at the top. That ain't got nothing to do with that 301. That's just, this is my paper I'm scratching on. But the reason I'm showing you is this 301. Um... And you know, honestly, I think it's, if I best remember, that 301 was from South Carolina. And I really wasn't paying too much attention to it the other day when I first saw it. But after I looked at it, And when all was said and done, when the draw did come out, it came out to be 778. And the reason I'm making this video is I couldn't understand it. First, I was like, that would be an excellent number to explain an indicator for a next double. Um... So if I was looking at this 301, the first thing that I would notice is the fact that with it being 301, you kind of look like, when I look like, I, I can't talk, but when I look at it, it reminds me of 3 minus 10. Of course, we know it's not, it's just 301. It does remind me of 3 minus 10. If you take that three and you add it to one, you actually get four. And four being uh, in the first tri families. Now, we talked about tri families before, y'all. Those of y'all that have been following along with me know what I mean by tri families. It's one four seven is the first tri family. So when you got four, you can easily translate four as to seven. Or you can easily see if three and one add up to four, you can easily say in the next number there's gonna be a seven. And in fact, there were two sevens. And also, when you're looking at the 301, I can't get that to focus. Looking at that 301, when you see 3, 3 is in the third tri family also. And I've always told you, anytime you see a 3, think of 9. So thinking of that 3 as 9, if you took a 9, and you mirrored that one. That one would mirror to six. And then if you added one more, that would be seven. So therefore, you could easily get a seven, seven as a double for that day. Um, I've always known for years now that when you see a zero one, or a zero one pop up, they said there was going to be a double. That's true. If you look back in the history of the numbers, that's true. And then if you mirrored that three, you'd get the eight. So therefore, you could get seven, seven, eight out of three, oh, one. Basically, I'm, I'm telling you this because I'm not doing a paper workout. I'm just doing a thinking exercise. Taking the number, I'm breaking it down, looking at the possibilities of what it could be. Rather than doing a 646 workout or a tic-tac-toe or whatever on it. And sure enough, 778 is what fell. And it's not just in South Carolina. Now it's in Michigan too. In Michigan, I was kind of surprised. We had... 
we had 461 fail. And as a result of 461, it came out 252. If you look at 461, that's easy. Take 6, subtract 1, equals 5. All right, so what's the common, uh, I guess, a common number that would go with 4 and 6, and that would be 2. 2 into 4 is 2. 2 into 6 is 3. And there's no uh, 6 in the next draw. is 2, 5, 2. So basically, you would have basically split up that 4 and represented it as 2 and 2. And there was your double, 2, 5, 2. Now, there are indicators in there that will give you a number within a double. And usually that's a 7 on the very end, or a 7 in the middle. But this time it's not a 7. Uh, actually, if you took the 6 plus 1 equals 7, or the 4 being in the tri-family, that equals 7 as well, then you can kind of still understand why a 5 came up in the center of a double. So, let me flip this over here, and I'm going to talk about this other number that popped up tonight, and I can't get it. Oh, that ain't it. That 415. Well, there's something I was going to say about that. No. Because I didn't even write the dead gun. I think, yeah, it came out 336, yeah. Yeah, it's 415, I am going to talk about it. So check this out. All right, so in Pennsylvania, midday Saturday was 415. So when I look at that, I mean, automatically my brain goes into um, workout mode. And I can practically see what the next draw is going to be, but I didn't say anything to anybody. Um, you know, I admit, you know, I've been bad about sleeping during the day here lately, and I've been real bad about staying up all night, but mainly sleeping during the day. It's been hard to get a hold of me on the phone and stuff. But when I look at this, 415, I see 366, and that's what fell for uh, evening yesterday in Pennsylvania was 336. So if you added the 1 plus the 5, that equals 6, all right? If you mirrored... Well, look at this. Okay, if you took the 4 plus 5 and added it, there's your 9. And 9 would mirror that 1. That would mirror that 1 into a 6. So, therefore, you take the 4 subtract 1, and there's 3. And that's how you got 366. Six. That's just a matter of thinking. And when I talk to you like this, that's all I'm really trying to teach you is to look at your number, since they're trying to make a thinking game out of this pick three, pick four thing, sometimes you can't always rely on a paper workout. You really have to sit down and think, well, is that first number going to hold? Is it just going to add one? What's going to happen to it? And a lot of times it comes back to that number that's in the middle. Um... Because if you worked off that number in the middle, you could pretty probably pretty well see if it's going to be a double or not, either the middle or the end. Because I have seen a number with a 1 at the end, and it came out with a double. But that's not to say that all numbers with a 1 in it is going to bring on a double, because it's not. Normally, a double will bring back a double in a lot of instances. 
Um, honestly, I haven't actually seen a certain date or a certain number that would bring back a number. I would bring back a double. But just in certain instances, um, it's just something you got to keep in mind. Just be Queen Chingling. I'm going to get back on here later with some more explanations. and um, Well, I will show you this, okay? And I did see this. I was looking at, let me get right here, that 917. So when I looked at that 917, I'm trying to figure out, Wait a minute, that is an indicator number. And I know for sure that's going to bring back a double. Especially with that one in the center. Yes, it did. And let me show you what it brought back. Two, two, two. I forgot what state that was. I think it was in Pennsylvania at one time. But uh, I'll be doing all kinds of different states. I'll be doing states all the way from East Coast to West Coast, from... The go see all the way up to Canada. So, anyway, this big Queen Chingling, and if you're interested in some numbers, throw a look in that cash app for me. If you're interested in a chart, call me up, and I'll be sure to tell you how to get a chart. And, um, y'all have a good one. I'm going to try to post some more videos on here about numbers. We'll get around to posting that Tic Tac Toe video. As soon as I'm satisfied that I'm ready to put it out there. If you want the tic tac and toe video to go, hey, throw a little in that cash up. I want to say maybe one or two dollars. I ain't saying 10, 15, or 20. It'd be Queen Chingling. Hey, she works hard on these numbers. Y'all have a good and have a blessed day. I'm out of here.